now we are going to see how we are going to save this workbook okay now you click either this particular icon or you can just select save okay and this will display a save dialog box like this and uh, this is usually called as common dialog box and here you need to select the location and give the uh, appropriate name whichever name that you want to have and you just click the save button which is available in the bottom corner the spreadsheet will be stored in the given location now just close this uh, spreadsheet you can just see the editor will be empty again to open it select open and you select the first location after that you click the uh, value which you want to do you just double click it automatically the uh, the thing will be opened and you can just see the value older value that will be available apart from this you can just align it okay which we have seen uh, uh, already okay suppose you want to go for a center alignment top alignment left alignment okay all these things can be performed using these tools now you can just see since these are numeric values which we are performing some mathematical operations this will be by default left aligned but when we see uh, the default operation with your text it will be left aligned but here you can just see it will be right aligned and you can set uh, the properties of each cell suppose you want to have uh, something uh, the decimal values okay you can just like use this increase decimal values suppose you want to increase to more some more decimal values you can similarly if you want to decrease it you can use this particular thing and suppose you want to have dollar okay you can expression dollar suppose you want to have percentage by selecting this you can expression percentage and you can just change the uh, other alignments all these things can be performed using this particular uh, this particular uh, set of t cells okay and this particular uh, button allows us to include the predefined functions apart from that if you just give some operations like this you can also perform the user defined operations and this will allow condition checking logical condition checking and relational condition checking all these things are possible okay then you want to change the font you can change the font you can change the size of the font using this particular these are some of the basic operations that you can perform with the Microsoft Excel. Now we just close this particular application. To close this, first what you need to do is just close the uh, yeah, work area. After that, you just select this and you give exit Excel. So the application will be closed. The next application software that we are going to say is uh, the Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay, you can just see the image over here. This particular uh, image uh, is again a snapshot of this particular Microsoft product. You can just see uh, yeah, initially that is uh, if you want to present something to your boss or to some uh, uh, you want to present your project, you want to present some information to others you can use this particular utility and this is a very wonderful utility where you can just uh, uh, allow us to organize our uh, pre presentation sequence and it allows us to add images and similar to the previous uh, there is word uh, this powerpoint also helps us to add images and you can go for some you can give sound effects and automatic execution of this uh, presentation slide is possible uh, and some more sophisticated features you can uh, add animations you can add movies all these things are possible with this particular tool. These are a few application software packages that are available. Frankly speaking, there are millions of software packages that are available. But in general terms, the office packages means it includes first your word processor, then you have your uh, for mathematical calculation, you will be using Excel like uh, similar software, and uh, you will for presentation, you will be using PowerPoint presentation. Apart from this, you will be having with your Microsoft product, you will be having one particular product called Microsoft Access. This is another a simple database management system software which allows us to perform data, uh, which allows us to create database and modify. You can add and you can use it, uh, use this database uh, for any purpose. This is also possible. And nowadays you have the Office package. This is if you just install Office, Microsoft Office 2000, you have some more packages like OneNote. Uh, and uh, your group, all these things will be available with your Microsoft 2007 package. 
and when you go for star office every version you can just see there will be a new product that will be included in it and some extra features earlier a particular product will be having a particular service as a uh, extended service but when the new version release the extended service in the previous version will be available as a base service for this particular uh, newer version so these are the things that implement every version handling and uh, every version uh, will be having some added features that's why you can just witness earlier when uh, people have used windows 95 to with some mbs of memory but now we can just see the current operating system and workstation work servers they occupy huge uh, even you can just say some gbs of memory in your hard disk so this is why when you say when you are developing an application software and when you go when you are enhancing its feature definitely you are going to uh, occupy a huge uh, uh, some extra space compared to the previous version this is with your application software packages for so this our third unit we are going to complete